Good afternoon, Mr. Wick. It's been a long time. You're here for a tasting, I presume. As I recall, you have a preference for the German varietals, do you not? Hmm. Would you have anything against starting your tasting with a bit of a To my knowledge, you've not used this before, but I assure you that if you need to maintain an extremely low profile, this will most certainly do the trick. Allow me to introduce you to the P365. At over just an inch wide, you can conceal this just about anywhere. Perhaps even more impressive, though, is the magazine capacity. ranging from 10 rounds of 9mm to 17 rounds. In a package this small, it's quite unheard of. The 365 is built, unlike many others, around the magazine. This is how Sig was able to fit a double-stack 9mm magazine into the space of a single-stack Glock 43 magazine. Quite impressive, no? The 365 features lengthy, continuous rails to guide the slide smoothly during recoil. And speaking of recoil, even with the short 3.1 inch barrel, we still have a double recoil spring to progressively dampen recoil, which does grant some astounding handling characteristics. The front serrations on the slide should make for easier reloads and even one-handed reloads in the event that you find your hands tied up with another task. You'll find the P365 filling the role of extreme minimalist without sacrificing performance power, because as surprising as it may be, it is rated for plus P ammunition. Perhaps you need a backup to your back, or the smallest, most compact sidearm that won't draw any notice. Another important feature in its repertoire is that it is able to be used in complete darkness, thanks to the tritium phosphorus sights. It's important to think about the fact that it's not how big, but rather how bold and how well it performs. If you're looking for a more proper aperitif, something with panache, I could wholeheartedly recommend the new breed of Austrians. A fifth generation Glock 19, perfectly suited for concealment. Standard issue with the new marksman barrel, you'll have just over 4 inches of barrel length to propel a 124 grain 9mm hollow point to over 1300 feet per second at the muzzle for a staggering 
440 foot-pounds of energy. Of course. Only if you're using plus P ammunition. I suppose I could have contoured grips added in case your hands get a bit. As I'm sure you've noticed, the 5th gen Glock 19 has a much more flared magwell for easier reloads. The double spring recoil system will keep the vertical recoil impulse in check, especially as I know you tend to favour rapid magazine depletions. As I'm sure you know, many prefer to carry concealed the Glock 19 for its paradigm setting standards such as size, magazine capacity, and of course, its classic look. Needless to say, the ubiquitousness of a Glock 19 will make field reloads a breeze, as the Glock 19 can also fit magazines from a Glock 17, as well as any other Glock magazine larger than 15 rounds, even including Gen 4 magazines. Given that many of your adversaries will be bearing similar Austrian machines, I would suggest it as a primary backup, given that it pairs well with more muscular flavours. Now if that didn't whet your appetite, perhaps something with a similar profile, but with a bit of a flair still. Allow me to introduce to you the Sig Sauer P320 Compact. A familiar but still unique take on the concealment class, you'll find that the P320C simultaneously is similar and yet maintains very dissimilarities to the Glock 19. Let's start with the similarities. Chambered in a 9mm parabellum with 15 round magazine capacity with extended mags available, similar contoured grips, similar sight radius and barrel lengths, similar overall dimensions and weight. Differences shallower grip angle, which I find allows for slightly more sophisticated recoil control. Standardized M1913 Picatinny under barrel rail for common attachments, red dot sight for optimized low light environment precision, front serrations for flexibility when racking. I believe you'll find the P320C checks all the boxes for a primary sidearm in your line of work, especially with the addition of the red dot sight. With smoother, less gritty trigger pull than Glock 19, your longer range work will be executed with precision. It seems you are ready to go on to the main courses, are you not, Mr. Wick? Very well. A familiar flavour profile for you, I'm aware. I present to you the AR-15, 16-inch, compensated iron bonded bolt carrier, sight mark, red dot sight, with no magnification, Perfect for the excellent CQB capabilities, it is fitted with an Anderson lightweight lower mil spec trigger assembly and an MLOC handguard. Reliability is the name of this horse's game as the gas block is designed for adverse conditions. The two point sling allows you to rapidly shift which shoulder you are firing from. A steeper grip angle allows you to compress your form for better maneuverability. 
Of course, the 1200 lumen streamlight not only allows you to light up the battlefield, but can also stun night vision with its strobe-like effect. Please, use caution. With this particular variety being distinct, decisive, and deadly, quite like yourself, I find we're coming to the end of our tasting today, Mr. Wick. Is there anything else I could assist you with? Something robust, precise. We are moving towards the darker reds, higher in tannins and body count. For your consideration, the Sig Sauer 716 designated marksman rifle. Chambered in 308, this 16 inch barrel DMR features a short stroke gas piston recoil system, eliminating the tendency of direct impingement gas in your eyes during critical moments. Notice also the muzzle brake, reducing felt recoil by upwards of 70%, but with one major drawback nobody will want to be on the side of you. But as I'm aware of your penchant for working alone, that should not present a dilemma. I have also mounted an ACSS Raptor Scope 1-6 to six magnification for versatility at a wide range of engagements. To keep weight down, a carbon fiber polymer reinforced handguard shrouds the barrel. The adjustable gas block should enable you to fit a suppressor for your more clandestine operations, should you so choose. Do be careful, however. The action is quite loud. Right then. Mr. Wick, that concludes our tasting for the evening. Unless there is something else I could get for you. Of course. Shall I have your selections sent to your room? It would be my pleasure. As a thanks for your constant patronage here, I will be giving each of them a quick tune-up before sending them over. No, no. No need to thank me. Very well. Oh, and Mr. Wig, do enjoy your party. <laughs>